one of the statements I used to hear all the time was the water's purest, you know, closest to the source. The closer you get to the source, the more pure what you believe or what you think is there. If you follow that stream all the way through the history of the church, yeah, you can see, you know, in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth centuries, the seedlings of what we're talking about. But you see it very clearly, very vividly. I had a very famous um, Protestant theologian telling me one time, really off-putting to me. He said, you know, the more I read the church fathers, the more I hate them. And I was like, <laughs> wow. Uh, you know, I mean, th- to me, that was very telling of, of some of the things that you hear if you're not Catholic. Because they're basically describing, if you hear like Ignatius of Antioch, yeah. describe the, the, the worship the, litur- the, the liturgy, the, the, the Sunday, the Sunday church, service, you know, you know it, it would yeah. look a lot like the Catholic service. Sure. It would look like, you know, reading the Old Testament, reading the epistles, reading, you know, yeah. proclaiming the gospel and receiving Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. And we truly believe this is his body and blood. So th- there, there's a, you see that and it can be a challenge if you're not living that way to say yes. like, well, let's, let's just toss, toss the whole thing out.